today on My Kids. Play a brand new game. Get up to sing and dance. Laugh at a Mad Lib story. Plus, get this week's Fun in the Sun challenge. Hey guys, welcome back to My Kids. I'm Mateo, this is Danica, and today we've got tons of fun planned for you. That's right, Mateo. Today we're talking all about finding God's grace. I bet you're super thankful that God forgives you no matter what. You make a ton of mistakes, right? What are you talking about? You don't need to bring that up. What about the other day when you took your brother's favorite pair of shoes without even asking? I promise that did not happen. Anyways, let's move on. Remember to keep your eyes out for seven secret letters in today's episode. And if you can solve the secret code, you could win an epic prize. Wow. Now don't forget to get your parents to submit your answers to us on Instagram or Facebook. Now let's jump into all the fun things we have planned for you today. Hey boys and girls, have you ever broken something or made a huge mess? Today's challenge is all about putting the pieces back together. Try to figure out what broke before it's fixed. Are you ready for round one? Here we go! <laughs> oh no! That looks very broken! What could it be? Hmm... Do you know? Shout it out! Well, let's see what it is in three, two, one. It's a bowl of cereal! <laughs> Who knew? Alright boys and girls, time for round two. Wow! That is a lot of pieces. Do you guys know what broke? Let's see what it is. Three, two, one. A flower vase. I never would have guessed. Next up, round three. Whoa, this is a colorful mess. Hmm, what could this be? Do you think you know? Why don't you shout it out? Oh, I still can't hear you. <laughs> All right, it's time to find out. In three, two, one. Wow, it's a Lego tower. <laughs> Fooled me. And here is the final challenge. Do you think you can solve it? Here we go. This looks like a tricky one. Do you have any guesses? Hmm, what could it be? Okay, let's see. In three, two, one. Oh, it's a puzzle. A puzzle of a puzzle. <laughs> now that was a challenge. So next time everything feels broken or mixed up for you, thank God for His grace because He can put anything back together. Hey guys, it's Ty the Funny Guy here and I see you all sitting down there. Guess what? It's time for a praise party! So you get up! Yeah, you! I'm talking to you! Get up! Stand up! Yes! Perfect! All right, you guys ready to dance? Do, 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 do. You can dance like this, you can praise like that, you can do all sorts of cool moves. You guys ready? Stand up and get ready for a praise party!
That was awesome. You guys know what else is awesome, right? My hilarious jokes. Please send in your jokes to us this week. Danica needs help. Mm -mm. Anyway, why isn't there a clock in the library? I don't know. Because it tick tocks too much. Get it? Talk, talk, talk. Yeah, I got it. Thanks for another fantastic joke, Danica. Anyways, let's move on to Shay with a Mad Lib story. Hey guys, Shay here. Today I've got one of your favorites, another Mad Lib story just for you. Thanks for submitting your ideas on Facebook and Instagram so we could make this story extra special today. <laughs> I don't think it's quite what the Bible says, but we're gonna have some fun with it anyway. Are you ready? Here we go. This story is about a guy whose name was Saul and it became Paul. I wonder what happened. Let's find out. I've got your answers here in my blue folder. Here we go. Once there was a very mean kangaroo. <laughs> Thanks, Kara. Named Saul. Pretty sure he was a man. He did not like people who believed in unicorns. <laughs> Kaylin, that's funny. <laughs> but he was very, very mean to people who believed in Jesus. He would do mean things like throwing popsicles at them. <laughs> Jack, that's a funny one. Saul was a huge bully. But one day, Saul was on a journey to another town and Jesus met him on his journey, stopped him and challenged him to a trampoline battle. <laughs> Lila, that's funny. Saul was so shocked, he shouted, my aunt kissed a brick wall. <laughs> Liam, that was very random. <laughs> but because of this moment with Jesus, finally, Saul believed in him. He believed in Jesus and he decided to turn his life around. He even changed his name to Paul because he wanted a fresh start with Jesus. He stopped being mean to the people who believed in Jesus and he started helping them. He started telling the world all about Jesus, his life, totally changed because of that one moment. And it didn't matter that he had messed up, that he had made mistakes, because that is what grace is all about. On his journey, Saul found God's grace and he got a fresh start. Hey, did you know wherever you are, wherever you're going, wherever your next adventure is leading you, you can find God's grace right with you. So you don't need to worry every time you mess up, every time you make a mistake, because when Jesus died on the cross, he died for all of our mistakes, past and present and future. So when we believe in Jesus, we have the grace to keep going, to try again, and to believe that we're gonna have great adventures with Jesus. Thanks for your help today, guys. That was fun. Boys and girls, didn't see you there, but once again, your boy is back at it. This week, for our fun in the sun challenge, we got a rap, a cheer, or a song that's all about God's grace. Like a ballerina, bro. Grace. All right, now remember to get your parents to send your pictures or videos to Instagram or Facebook, and you can be entered to win our fun in the sun prize pack. It's gonna be sweet, bro. Now, you can make a rap, a cheer, or a song all about the grace. So it could go like this, like a boom, tsk, boom, boom, tsk, tsk. I love God, you know it's true, and he loves you because you're you. See, just like that. Got a smooth flow, DJ, right here. <laughs> all right, see you guys next week with a new fun in the sun. All right, catch you later, bros. We've had so much fun with you this week. 
Don't forget that wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you can find God's grace because of Jesus. That's right. Hey, did you guys find all seven letters of this week's secret code? What is it? Shout it out. Awesome. Now get your parents to send us your name and answer on Instagram and Facebook to have the chance to win this week's epic prize. Plus, send us your Fun in the Sun challenge for a chance to win the summer prize pack. We'll see you next week, and remember... God loves you, we love you, and you, you are, are awesome. awesome. Bye! Hey parents, don't forget to like and subscribe to our videos and follow us on Instagram and Facebook so your kids don't miss out on any of the fun.